The young guy Jack tells the first-year students gathered around that they are free to make love at any time and with anyone. The main thing is not to forget about protection. The girls grab these things and Jack invites them all to a party. Friends figured out Jack's plan. A modest girl in a beret and glasses enters the university. Jack's skinny friend approaches her with this, but the alpha male takes the baton and finds out that the girl's name is Sandra. They joke, already leaving he invites Sandra to a party that will be held at the Brotherhood house. At the same time, we learn that a lot of young students have disappeared without a trace. The party is in full swing and Jack is hiding in his room. Jack's friend finds the things of the dean of the history faculty in his bed. And Jack shares with him the secret of how to fill up any girl in bed. Our hero goes out into the world and sees an embarrassed Sandra there. Young people played peepers and immediately went upstairs. Jack talks to Sandra and then she says if he is afraid to be among the missing guys and what if she is a serial killer. Having quickly finished talking, the youth gets down to business, but before that, Sandra gives Jack a rubber, he grimaces, but still agrees to wear it. It is clear from his wry face that he does not like security and at the first opportunity he gets rid of the rubber. In the morning, Jack wakes up happy in bed alone. Sandra left her phone number on the mirror, which the guy immediately recklessly erases. Then he vomits and looks bad. A rash appeared below the navel. Realizing that he is in trouble, Jack immediately goes to see a venereologist. Jack makes a suggestion what kind of disease it might be, and the doctor jokes that then the piper will have to be amputated. Calm at first, the doctor tenses up when he sees something strange in the guy's tests and decides to listen to him additionally at the level of the abdomen. He hears another heartbeat, no doubt Jack is pregnant. A naive student throws contraceptives, his stomach boils and he immediately feels sick again. In a short time, the stomach swelled to an impressive size. What to do? Fortunately, Sandra's phone was not completely erased, and after several attempts, Jack calls her and offers to meet. The guy already wanted to dump the fraternity building, but he was surrounded by other students. It's time to honor the hero because he slept with 67 girls. That's how many people founded the Brotherhood. Jack is seated in an honorary chair, lifted up so that he hangs a pennant with his name, and then his water breaks, right on the heads of his brothers. Finally, Jack is released and he rushes to Sandra's house. Already completely exhausted. He goes inside and the faces of Sandra's parents show that this is not the first time this situation has happened. Not only that, they even have a folding gynecological chair. Sandra enters the room and the poor fellow wonders what she did to him. She replies that he should have been protected. Then the guy whines that he used to be fat and the girls didn't even look at him, and here he is again, an ugly fat man. But Sandra does not care about his tears, she is already calling someone and says that she is free. Jack understands that he will give birth and at the last moment is interested in what he will go through. Sandra's mother answers in the same way that came in and the student bursts. Having splattered the walls, the grandmother takes her granddaughter out of his belly and takes her to a room where there is already a whole bunch of cribs with little monsters. 